George Peterson, live from the AES show in New York City. We're at the Telefunken booth here where they're uh, showing in a uh, new system for Decatree recording, which is uh, ideal for uh, orchestral scoring and uh, high quality multi-channel recording of all, all, all sorts of sources. Let's check it out and have them find out what's going on. I'm Jason Scherner with Telefunken Electroacoustic and we're here to talk about the new Teletree Tri-Mono Microphone System. The Teletree is derived from the concept of the original Decatree, but we've tried to take it a little bit further. Uh, what we've done is we've used the same key elements, a small diaphragm Omni sub-miniature tube condenser microphone based on an extremely high quality transformer. We've used the Elam 260 microphone because it has interchangeable capsules and the, and the Omni capsule that's already part of the system is ideal for this application. We realized that there was a, a huge need to fill content in scoring music for film because of the expansion of the film industry in every direction with Netflix and multiple HBOs and Cinemaxes and everything that's streaming to your phone while you're waiting for your plane at the gate. So the Tri-Mono system addresses that need. It has a three-channel Tri-Mono proprietary power supply with the XLR outputs on front and back for convenience. Now the microphones themselves, as I said, have the key elements of the original Decatree concept, including these spheres that are part of the capsule assembly. Now the idea with the M50 was that the sphere would put certain frequencies back in that were lost at distance in that style of recording. And that concept works great. But what we decided to do was increase its flexibility by making the capsules not only detachable, but also different sizes. Now these are prototypes. The finished product will be a clear acrylic. But if you're in a situation where you're close enough that you don't have to put those frequencies back in and you don't want to create an unwanted bump, you go without any sphere at all. If you're in a medium-sized room, medium-sized ensemble, you would go with the smaller of the two spheres. And if you happen to be scoring a huge symphony for the next major blockbuster, great big sound stage, you would go with the full-size sphere and therefore putting back the frequencies that are lost, giving you a nice even representation of your entire environment. Now, we love the flexibility that the spheres provide, but it's also the simplicity of certain distances work well with certain sizes, which will be part of the recommended usage portion of our, our explanation on this product, but also the same thing is true with the ratios of the triangle that's created with the Teletree. So once you've got the right components and you understand just the, the, the most simple math in, in how to set it up, even a 10 year old can score music for film effectively and at the highest level of fidelity.